Hey, what's up, y'all? It's Papa with Cracking It's D. Boss here, actually, this video by JBM Fargo's title, KSI Just Failed Miserably and Somehow Won the Truth. Okay, uh, we're going to hear what he has to say about this song. When I reacted to the memes for Dante compilation, they kept playing the song, and people are clowning him all over social media, dragging the song, saying it's corny, it's terrible, this, this, and that. But he still somehow won. Let's see how it's watched. Now, KSI has recently gotten into some drama with another YouTuber by the name of Dan TDM. I think he makes Minecraft videos. What? And it's about this whole Lunchly situation. Oh Lunchly Lord. versus Lunchables. I, I guess Lunchly this. is a new product that Logan Paul, Mr. Beast, and KSI is launching, I guess, to compete against Lunchables and trying to say it's healthier. Dan TDM didn't like that they were basically pitching something that he says is not healthy or pitching to kids or whatever. I really didn't like go deep into that situation because honestly, yeah, don't talk about I do not care. Like bro, YouTubers, the whole point is to grow your brand and do what you want to do and basically expand your empire. So I really don't care if KSI, Logan Paul, or Mr. Beast want to make stuff directed towards kids and make it a healthier option. Yeah, I really okay. do not care. I mean, <laughs> leave that up to the doctors and the, the parents. parents to say that, you know, yeah. this is right or wrong. I really don't care. I'm gonna be honest. Why y'all think I haven't made a video on this whole situation? Any of these situations relating to these- I did, but I, listen, everything I make a video about, I don't care. <laughs> so it's, it's no different. That's why it's always funny. People are like, oh, you react to this and that. You must care about, yeah. Products and like that. Um, yeah, I really don't <laughs> but yeah, I talked about it, but yeah, I, I quick disclaimer. Yeah. Okay. Now, all that out the way, KSI has recently had a lot of hate. Like, it's been a whole hate train, a hate mob around his new song that he just released called Thick of It. Now, people are basically saying like that it. the song is trash, disliking the video. I mean, a video at this time, at this Damn. current moment, the last time I checked, has like 1.2 million dislikes. That is insane. The top comment has more likes than the video oh. has likes, bro. Like, and what does it say? It says, honestly, if it had a different beat, different melody, different lyrics, different sound effects, different artists, different theme, different message, and a different genre, it could have gone hard. Y'all ain't shit. Oh, Trippy Red is on the song, too? I don't think it's the worst thing ever. <laughs> the more I heard it on that compilation, I was like, it's not that bad. It's bad, but it's not, it's not that bad. That's insane to me. So I'm trying to figure out like, why are people hating this song? And I have to listen to it for myself. Now, my first thoughts on the song. It's cool. Um, yeah, it's... the song is not all that, but I don't think it's horrible. Exactly. I don't think the song is horrible. Exactly. I just think like his audience may not like rock with that kind of music. I don't know, man. It sounds like some Wreck-It Ralph, some end credits stuff at the end of kids' movies. It's That's definitely it corny like. and kid-like. Like, conquer but... our enemies and conquer... You know, it doesn't the make world me upset. And, and, you know, <laughs> and I don't think it's, it's be worthy of being dragged. The help of my friends. That's what it sounds like. I'm going to be honest. Yeah. And I'm going to tell you why KSI, who first actually genuinely released the song thinking people will rock with it, and just, you know, was another one of his releases, <laughs> or is playing trailing? into the hate to market the song better. Now, a lot of this happens on Twitter. So, John Roller posted that KSI is forcing people to listen to his new song. Think of it. This has to be some form of punishment. As Not you can see, it's like people. all these trucks with his video on it. I think that's in the UK, if I'm correct. And he says, KSI says, what the F is this caption? It's called marketing. I can't even promote without people taking the piss now. Now, that just led me down this deep rabbit hole of people just, like, hating on this nigga shit. First thing it says, KSI got ratioed by a hate comment under his own video, like I mentioned earlier. And KSI said, generational haters everywhere. I'm so tired of it at this point. Just leave me alone. And there's another post on yeah, he Instagram too. that he said on his story. And it says, imagine spending so much time and effort into making a song for people to then repeatedly take the piss out of it online. I get it's trendy to hate me right now, but can we like move on? And I believe this is the most vulnerable we saw KSI when it came to the reception of this song. And now this is when everything changes. Oh no, so I just do it because I know it pisses people off. It, bro, I look on Twitter and I go, oh wow, these people actually care that I'm just saying all these you things about that. You think start a real life chant about that? Yeah, because it's you just, are not the I like to continue it because it's just funny. So you, you think but then I, do, I feel like it, it's it's reaching its point where it's not even funny for me anymore. It wasn't funny. It's not funny. Yeah. No, nah, bro, it's it was funny. great. I'm using the promo for my song. I'm also just... You're not rattling Dan, you're rattling his... His fan. That's yeah. it. No, but, it's not Dan. But it's Dan so Trippy Red posted that KSI basically forced him to um make this song or had him in the studio and he won't, he won't let him out. He was making a joke or something like that. And that's when I started to think like, Damn, this is actually getting corny. Niggas is actually trying to like 
play into this shit. Now, the next thing I see after this whole thing yeah. is that KSI's video has gotten more views than The Weeknd and Playboy Cardi's most recent yeah, song. It was crazy. at 6 million at the time. Right now, I think currently it's at 14 million. And I don't know where The Weeknd's video is at, but Ooh. bro, it's The Weeknd and Playboy Cardi, bro. You think they won't get over 10 million views in a, a span of like a few days? The other day, KSI posted a video saying the hate on my music is forced, where he would react to, you know, a lot of the reactions yeah, to his song really. and give his yeah, opinion. Yeah, it is getting, I've never getting religiously his shit a lot of attention. watched KSI, like sat down and watched him. I don't think his videos have ever showed up on my recommender or anything through the years. I was too busy watching Flight and Solo Naughty and yeah, all the niggas. But I'm going to let y'all see what I think is the funniest reaction to the song. Let's see what <laughs> it's beautiful. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I got it. I got now it. Now when he forward. first dropped the song, he said these stupid fans leaving trash comments on my new song think they're getting to me. You're not. It's not funny. It's boring. You're wasting your time. And you would think most of these artists who drop yeah, songs, he, he, if somebody says the song is trash, like hard. even when Playboy Cardi dropped one of his older songs, like what is what was it called, At Me or whatever, niggas saying the song was trash. Even when he dropped a whole lot of red, niggas are saying the the album was trash oh, and shit like trash. that. Bro, you ain't see Cardi getting all right, mind you. Cardi don't be tweeting and all this other shit, but I think he got burners and shit and shit like that. But you don't see this nigga tweeting like, yeah, you think the song is trash, whatever, I don't care, da da da, Ooh, whatever, yada yada yada. Like, bro, clearly this affects you. So this was the most vulnerable, like I said, that we've seen KSI. Another part where I think he played into the hate was when Martin Lawrence posted, how do y'all feel about this new song? And KSI said, OMFG, he deleted the tweet, why does everyone hate me? It's obvious engagement bait. The next part was when Drake posted his video with him talking about something, and his song was in the background of his Instagram room. More marketing. What? They said Drake actually liked the song. For him to even put the song on his real life is huge. Like, for me, I, I just couldn't believe it. I was there like, what the hell? I, well, to be honest, I, I didn't actually know. I had several people message me. I was like, yo, what? And I saw it, I was like, man. So, you know, I messaged him saying, big up, thank you for uh, using it. No, and he was just very... like, yeah, I can, I can only get the message out. Yeah, he was just there like, yo, I had to. Gets the people going. <laughs> Drake is so thirsty to hop on every new trend and what people are talking about. Because <laughs> what? That's so random. It's you don't give a fuck about K-Star music. You can clearly see this. This is it's seems viral. Like so forced. So staged, and they got into an argument about a song, and then KSI said "f you and your fans" and left the stream. It's, I'm not even joking. At first, I thought it was. What do you mean? What do you mean? It's growing on people. It's a good song. It's always been a good song. So I don't understand what you mean by it's growing on people. Well, it's what, well, to be real, dude, the first one, two listens, it's like, what the fuck is this Disney? But now it's good. I like it now. It's catchy. It's good. It's in people's heads. It's a viral TikTok song. It's viral. You had Drake in my chat talking because about it's a good TikTok. song. Yeah, and shout out Drake. But I don't even know if he's taking the piss. Nah, nah, he likes the song, bro. He likes it. He likes it. He was just saying, play the song. I played it, and I, you know, he, he likes the song. And then you instantly wanted it off. Yeah, dude, yeah, yeah. But yeah, that was my... Yeah, so then what, what were we doing here? Then? Well, look, dude, I mean, at the time, it wasn't hitting, but now I, I just listened to it right before I started my stream. Amazing, dude. The energy's great. You did your thing, Oh, bro. it's great now because I'm on here, right? Yeah, I'll be real with you. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. That's why you're kissing my house. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. Oh, you're on fantastic. here. And, you know, I just wanted to make, I wanted the things to be on good terms. Okay? He's going crazy. He's the number one song in the world right now. And everyone needs to lay off JJ. It's about Who his life. Who you pulling us? Do I think it's good? No, but I'm at least I'm telling people to fuck off and stick up for you, bro. Oh, God. You just said that. You're pissing me off. You know that shit is ass. It's not my fault you no, did that song, bro. Fuck yourself. You're guilt. All your fans are you. No. Oh, come on, JJ. You're obviously dude. fake, but it's still entertaining. <laughs> yeah, I'm sorry, bro, but it, the song sucks. You can be any more fake about this shit. Like, come on, bro. I was on Twitter a couple days ago and I saw Mr. Beast rented out a whole movie theater to watch the Hawk Tour Girls podcast while eating lunch leaves and listening to KSI's new song. Now, this is actually the smartest marketing he could have done for this song. You got people that hate Mr. Beast. You got people that hate the Hawk Tour Girl. You got people that hate his song, bro. Like, this is the combination of hate. All the people in the comments are gonna comment. They're gonna engage, which gives it more traction. Yes, and, and I think he's using this sound for his song on TikTok. So I think that goes up in the TikTok algorithm. Bro, people are literally making TikToks just to hate on the song. 
that gives the song more traction. And obviously it has nothing to do with the streams, if I'm correct. I don't know how that works on TikTok. Now within a week of KSI releasing Thick of It, it debuted at number one on Spotify UK, hey, number man. one trending of music videos in 12 countries, 6 million total streams on Spotify, 14 million total views on a music video, number 14 debuted on the official charts, gained 3 million monthly listeners on Spotify. Yo, shout out to all the fans hey, who love this song. Let me see what it is on here. I'm about to Kiss download it. Kiss my ass. <laughs> <laughs> uh, and I want to just say shout out to all the haters. Yeah. I ain't giving no shout out. Shout out strange. to the haters, man. You know, I ain't saying? giving no shout out, man. The haters still love us, bro. You got to know that. Nah, I lie. <laughs> <laughs> Going viral because that song is so bad. bad. It's crazy. Couple, man. <laughs> A lot of people may say that this hate is not good in the long run. And I definitely agree with you. This thing is a whole double-edged sword. I doubt the song will be as big as it is without this whole entire beef in the beginning. People just hating KSI in general. The streams and all that stuff is fine and dandy, but when you look in the mirror and you get into that studio again to make another song, you're gonna exactly. think, man, people actually are gonna hate me for making this song, another song after this. Do people actually not respect my music? But yeah, let me know what y'all think about I don't think he'll be able to replicate this uh, because the joke has already been told, so if you, he comes out with another song even if it is kind of corny and disney channel ish and it follows the same blueprint it's not going to have the same effect um so yeah i don't think this is good long term but i i don't think this was his you know intention obviously he did probably think that people were going to fuck with it and was like oh trippy is on here i got a good feature um so i highly doubt he expected it to get this much hate but he is just you know capitalizing off of it and it's like, hey, it's like, you might as well, <laughs> because people don't fuck with it. You might as well play into it and get whatever you can from it. And it's at 20 million views on YouTube. That is crazy. It's doing better than The Weeknd and Playboy Cardi song. <laughs> like, that's crazy. So, I mean, kudos to him for his success, even though this is an odd success. Uh, but, yeah, I think he should just work on his craft. If anything, this should be an indication that you really need to try to get better <laughs> if you have a song that went viral because it's so bad. Like that's that's horrible. That's that's not good for your artistry overall. I'm confused. Anyway, y'all let me know what y'all think though. Let me know what other videos you wanna watch and I'll see you on the next one. Bye!